Hi, my name is Rob Hewer. I'm the Rough Cut Manager here at PRS Guitars. I've been employed here nearly 30 years. Today we're going to look at the lumber preparation processes and rough cut processes. Let's check it out. <laughs> Can we put up a Steve Brule? Like, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I could have worn my Steve Brule t-shirt. <laughs> check it out. Check it out! in our mahogany for our backwood from Africa. It comes into the port of Baltimore where it is loaded on trucks that we bring in once every four to six weeks and unload here at the factory. Lumber comes in anywhere from 10 to 20 feet long. When the lumber is ready to be cut, we will pull it down pack by pack and put it in front of our jump saw where John will cut the dimensions to length. Once it is cut to length, I will verify the thickness to make sure it's not too thick or too thin for the model that we are making, and I will cut the width to dimension. Length and width are important so that the blanks will fit into our jigs further down the manufacturing line. Here we are unloading a pallet of maple tops. Maple tops come in similar to the mahogany, but cut down much closer to final dimension. Here John and I are grading and inspecting the tops for any possible defects or cracks. Once the wood is graded, we stack it in different piles depending on which grade the top makes. There are many points of grading down the manufacturing line. This is just the first one. Once the wood is all graded in their piles, we spray paint them by color code to mark the grade. There you see a stack of graded maple stickered for air drying. Here John is moving a flat stack pallet of mahogany backs where it will be stored until it's ready for the next stage. Once the pallet of backs is ready to go into the hot room, John will pull it down with a lift and sticker it on a pallet. Stickering is important because it allows air to flow around every piece of wood and allows the heat to dry it down to our specs. Here John has a finished full stack of mahogany backs and he is going to load it into the hot room for 24 hours. Our different species of wood come in at different moisture contents, so depending on the species and the moisture content, a pallet of wood might be in the hot room for 24 hours or up to two weeks. Some of our denser, more exotic woods that we use in private stock can take up to two months of dry time in a hot room. Here, John is removing a fully dried pallet of mahogany from the hot room and he will check it for moisture content with our moisture meter. He wants to ensure that it is in the 5 to 7% moisture content range. At PRS Guitars, we put a lot of care into the drying process because it affects the stability of the instrument as it goes down the manufacturing process, and it has an effect on the resonance and tone of the final product. When the wood is dried, John will bring the pallet in and rack it on the shop floor where it sits to acclimate for two weeks. Acclimation time is important because it allows the wood to take in the moisture that it wants to and the wood will not warp as it moves down the manufacturing line. Here you see the wood dated for when it goes on the floor. This allows the body build team to know when to pull it down for milling and manufacturing. Maple follows a similar drying process and is also brought out to sit on the factory floor to acclimate for two weeks. That wraps up the rough cut and lumber preparation process. Now the wood is ready for manufacturing. My name's Rob Hewer. Thank you for watching.